All right, guys, today we're just gonna do a quick unboxing of the Bofa Print Pro 2. Now, this is the model that doesn't have the full circulation, but it's got a flex tube, and it's actually great for all those open air printers uh, and other units out there that, once again, can just give you a little bit more peace of mind and remove a lot of the odors that you experience during 3D printing. So, let's get right into it. Okay. I'm just gonna open up the top here. Comes in a nice, sturdy box. Do this. Right, and then the top, you're gonna pull out the accessory box, and this, whoop. Okay, so inside this first box, you're gonna find the flex tube. This is really, really cool. you also find one of these to secure it to the unit, as well as the power cable, uh, some informational stuff, and of course, all the documentation. So flex tube is cool because it stays where you put it. Oh, oh, right there, look at that, look at that. It's got this internal structure that allows you to position it pretty much wherever you want and it'll stay there. So let's dive right into the rest of the box. Inside you'll find very nicely packaged, all this foam and everything, the actual unit itself. Boop, boop. I'm just gonna secure the top here so that when I pull it all out, I can just pull the whole thing out, boom! That's not light, it's probably, I don't know, 15 pounds or so. And here we go. So this unit, you'll notice, if you watched our video on the Print Pro 3, if you haven't already, go check that out. But if you've seen that one, this is a little bit smaller than that unit and it only has the top intake. It actually expels the other air, the filtered air, the fresh air, through the bottom here. So this is kind of a standalone unit and you can just put it next to anything. I've actually used it for soldering and for uh, doing some post-processing and melting plastic with the soldering iron. So those fumes, you know, if you, if you do one little thing, it'll smell up the whole room for, you know, the next 15, 20 minutes unless you have really good airflow. So this thing, I just place this right next to what I'm, whatever I'm working on and it really helps keep that down. And I'm not thinking that I'm, you know, breathing in all this toxic air. So whoop, on the back, you've got the power cable and the power switch. And on the front, you've got an indicator light that will actually go on when you need to change the filter. So inside, let's just pop it open real quick. We've got the filters. So this thing, super easy to change, and they're actually pretty cheap, less than 200 bucks for a complete new unit. And on top, you've got the pre-filter. Now this filters out all the, the microfine particles and it's something like the 0.1 or 0.3 micron particles to 0.1 or one micron particles. And that helps extend the life of the HEPA filter. Um, it keeps it all out there. You can take this out and wash it or shake it out. And then your HEPA and your carbon are gonna last a bit longer. Now, here you can see the HEPA filter. And then inside here is actually chambers that allow the fumes and everything to dwell around the carbon so that it can actually absorb all those gases and odors. Now, the, the research is still out on whether this absorbs all the different VOCs uh, that can be harmful to your health, but there's a lot of studies that say it does actually absorb a high percentage of them. Once again, we don't even know at this point in history what all the VOCs are, so this is an extra bit of peace of mind for you and your shop and your family or your coworkers or whatever. It's just that extra layer of protection. It's about the best you can do right now. So inside the box, you can see here, it's got the little fan in there and it's all nice and sealed off. And the, the unit itself is pretty light. Most of the weight is actually in this carbon unit. So we'll put that back in there. It's got the uh, efficiency on it, the date that it was tested. Uh, it says the activated, right here, it says the activated carbon media in this filter is suitable for the absorption of a wide range of organic compounds. However, it is the responsibility of the user to ensure the filter is suitable for the particular application, of course. All right, 
I'll drop that in there. Uh, this particular unit was built by Stuart B on 4H2020 and tested by Matt B on 4H2020. Thanks guys, always a good help. All right, I'm gonna put the lid back on. It's just got these two little clips inside here. Keeps it down nice and tight. Hold that there. So we've got this clamp that you can actually secure the hose to the unit with. We're just gonna put it on there for a minute. Show you how easy this is. You basically put it on there and then say I've got a printer and I want it to, you know, hang over the top gantry or something. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. You got your Prusa going or you got your open air, you know, whichever printer you've got. You can position this wherever you want. At a certain angle, you gotta kind of find the right one, but it works pretty good, dude. This is sweet. Um, like say, I use this a lot in the shop when I'm doing soldering or when I'm doing post-processing or maybe you know using the soldering iron to put in uh, metal threads into a part. There's all those gases that come off and they stink up the room and it's just, it's just a pain and you don't wanna be smelling that or breathing that in. So having one of these around really helps that out. God, this is great. Bofa is an award-winning company specialized in fume extraction for industrial applications. And they've actually got a whole wide range, whether you've got a laser machine or a laser cutter, or you've got, some, you know, there's a wide variety of things that they sell. And they've recently released this entire lineup for 3D printing. It's a very good thing to have in the shop if you've been considering it. Ah, so anyway, here at Vision Miner, we specialize in high temp, strong thermoplastics like Peak, Ultim, and PPSU. And you can get into the game for very low cost, or you can really rank that up depending what you're doing, aerospace, medical, etc. That's all we do every day. And well, that's all I got for you today. So thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.